Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. Hello, is there anybody in there? I use mostly budget stuff. You're the star. You're the star. <laughs> Are we doing a full round of the... <laughs> of the cuddlies? Never really suffered with this when I was a teenager, but here we are. <laughs> um, I've just been looking up um, potential like products I can get because I've, I've actually just run out of cleanser, so I, I did need to uh, go and get some. So I've just been looking if uh, anywhere near me stocks um, some things I've been looking at, and I think I think the boots closest to me might have have something so I might head out and go and grab some of that later because I also need to stock up on toothpaste. Hello, welcome. How very festive, I know. We've got number 18, um, but I can't really open it like this. So we're gonna have to try something in here. If you watched yesterday's vlog, I hope this is not too noisy. I probably should have just turned the camera off for doing that. Um, if you watched yesterday's vlog, you'll know that, no, I'm just gonna, this is really bright. I swear half of my vlog is me correcting the camera. I should have just turned it off and did it. If you watched yesterday's vlog, thank you if you did, by the way. And I had that whole chat about how doing daily vlogmas has helped me this year. You'll have heard me say that Vlogmas this year has been a bit experimental, which <laughs> evidently with all the testing different shots and where I can put the camera and whatnot. So here we are in the bedroom with the coloured lights and we've got number 18 <clears throat> of the advent calendar, which is this cute little package. It's a Posca pen. Cool. It's a gold Posca. I'm guessing this is a fine tip. Oh, I've not tried the fine tips. <coughs> That's fun. Let's see. Usually takes a little minute to get. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm feeling a little bit hoarse today, which is. Not a good sign. It usually takes a little minute to get these things charged up. Come on. Hello, is there anybody in there? Why are you not working? Come on. Right, I'm going to continue this off camera and I will come back on if and when I get this working. <laughs> I got it working. Can you see? I've never used the, the fine tip ones before. Nice. Thank you very much. Whoops. I love a Posca pen. Um, the plan for today is kind of the same as, as every day. I've got stuff to do. And namely, the guest area downstairs. I've been trying to think how I want to do this in terms of Vlogmas because my sister watches the videos. And I don't know if I want all of them to see downstairs before they get here. So what I think my approach is going to be for that is I've got another memory card. And what so what I might do is when I'm doing stuff down there is collect footage on another memory card of the process because this is going to take me more than you know one vlogmas episode to do anyway and just collect little clips little updates as i'm doing it and then utilize that footage on like the 23rd or the 24th 
one of the days where they're going to be here so I may not be vlogging quite as much. I can get what I can and be like, here's the transformation of the, the guest area that I, you know, I've pre-recorded kind of thing. <clears throat> but it's still being done within within the vlog season. So I think that's how I'm going to do it. So I won't be capturing any of that in today's vlog as a result of that. And it also means that I'm not under pressure with that to get footage. I can just do little clips here and there. I'll be doing a bit of that and various other boring <laughs> house things. What else happens? I don't know. I would love to be able to do some of my December daily, but because I haven't even started actually putting any of that together yet. So, uh, yeah, that would be good as well. But, and I also would like to film a video for my other channels today. But we'll see how I get on with that. <laughs> so, yes. Good morning. It is actually still morning, just. Um, yeah, we'll see how we'll see how the day pans out. Since we last spoke, I do like this in the background there. Since we last spoke, I have been out. Um, like I said, I was going to do. My main job being to get a cleanser, a face cleanser which I'm going to show you in a minute. While I was out, I managed to actually... Oh, and some toothpaste, which I did get. <laughs> While I was out, I did manage to pick up some gifts as well, which obviously I can't show you those, but it's progress on the gifts because I'm way behind. Oh, by the way, I'm going to try and go to Manchester tomorrow, but we'll see what time I get up because that is, that is the clincher. If I don't get up early enough I just won't go because I just know I just know how busy and horrible it'll be the later it gets even in the weekday because it's obviously well it's exactly a week until Christmas as I'm recording this so so I still need to go downstairs and do the things that I said I was going to do downstairs which you'll see in another vlog got myself a coffee because I need it been doing some laundry, you know, all that, all that boring adult stuff. Going through st stuff with Liam, like things he can help me with and things that need to be done and whatnot. But as I was going out to get cleanser, I thought I would talk to you about my current skincare and I'll show you what I got. And then anyone that's used it or used the brand can tell me whether or not it's good. I use a lot of budget stuff, really. I'm trying to get... So I've got... I've brought everything in here. I use mostly budget stuff. The thing I got today was a bit bit more pricey. The thing I was replacing, which... Re not replacing because it's not good, but just because I wanted something in particular. And also, my local super drug doesn't have any of this in, so I don't know if it's been discontinued or what, but it was there hot cloth cleanser i i've been using this for years when i originally and i had like multiple like boxes of it because i always used to get it you know when it was on like buy one get one half price or whatever the reason i got this originally was because it had so many good reviews and it was supposed to be a dupe of the lizelle one so I need to check the website because it might just be that my store isn't stocking it anymore. Um, but they do have another one in their vitamin E range. Maybe I'll maybe I'll try that one. Some of the I'm trying to I'm trying to talk about the stuff that I've used for longer first. And another one was from their optimum range, which is this retinol night cream. I also used the day cream for a while as well but I ran out I think I'm running low on this I'm probably gonna need a replacement I'm not really because the thing is with retinol retinol is one of them things that can be a bit aggravating as I understand I'm not an expert <laughs> so I might need to I might need to figure out something else for 
night cream in future. SPF, I have actually been using this altruist one. This is one that I found on Amazon and it's actually a charity product. Like that's what the company does specifically as far as I understand because any purchase of these altruist your purchase supports children with al albinism i think that's how you say that albinism in africa so this is like a charity product and i wanted one specifically that was spf 50 and i think i got this in a two pack two pack and i gave one to liam so if i'm ever doing spf which should really be all the time even in winter that's that's why i use a nice a nice high factor and it's and it's really nice i've not had any problems with it like i've not i've not found that my skin has like broken out any more because this this isn't from that obviously like i use i use i use cleanser but also because i'm quite a forgetful person i do like to have things available that make things easier for me so i do do them regardless of you know, forgetfulness or lack of motivation. So I do have some biodegradable wipes. I don't use them all the time, but I like to have them as backup. I just get the two packs from Superdrug. Um, but other than that, I have this, which is from their B range, which is micellar water. And all skin types, aloe vera and chamomile flower extract. And I found it to be lovely. No problems with that newer things well this this was a repeat buy which was the optimum vitamin c but they were selling this for like 150 i should have bought <laughs> should have bought more because i really like it and i get worried when they put things on for really cheap because i feel like it means they're discontinuing it and some recent purchases in the vitamin c front again is this invigorating skin booster Vitamin C Detox Skin Care. This is another one from Superdrug. I, f I really, really like, like it. It's lovely. It smells delicious. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then this from the same brand. I think it's a Superdrug own brand again. Is this Brightening Eye Gel. And it's actually a roller. And it has goji berry extract and caffeine. I love this. If you're a person that really likes something cooling under their eyes, you might like this. It's it's really nice. So those are the things that are new to me. Um, for kind of lip skincare, if I want a balm, I've been using Burt's Bees. And if I want an oil, I've been using um, Charlotte Tilbury Crystal Elixir which I really like. So this, the one I just bought is a new to me brand. I've never used them before. Um, but when I was researching my particular problems I'm having, this one came up. I have seen them when I've been, you know, shopping online. And it's the Inky List and it's this, I'm not going to be able to say that. They've actually put the phonetics on here. Salicylic, salicylic, <laughs> salicylic acid cleanser reduces blackheads and breakouts blemish prone oily skin i don't have oily skin per se i have oil, oily areas so i'll see how i get on but if you have used this brand or used use this product let me know how you found it uh helps to unclog pores and gently exfoliate and it says it's got something in it that so soothes um, Sue's irritation as well and obviously they have a whole range so you could because it says how to layer products on the side here so you could obviously get more use AM and PM not just for your face use on other blemish prone areas including your back and chest that's really handy to know um, but yeah that's my current skincare at least at the moment that's what i'm using and i'm generally happy with my skin for the most part um obviously apart from this that's popped up and i do get i do get blemishes on my 
shoulders and back so it'd be really interesting to try that you know it's it's uh something to include in the vlog but also i am procrastinating because <laughs> downstairs is a really big job and all i want to do is watch christmas films and eat snacks but i know if i don't get started the stress level will just keep increasing whereas if i at least get started and do something down there the stress level will you know be balanced at least you know so off i go to do that so i've spent like the last hour like just over an hour downstairs recorded some footage obviously for a future vlog and I'm, just, I'm really, really pleased with the progress. It's similar to if you watch my vlog. Was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday when I mentioned how I was feeling about trying to tackle the corridor. And like, I'm really breaking through like with this motivation at the moment because I'm like, no, just start. Like, because it was such an overwhelming big job. I was like, do what you did yesterday with the corridor corridor just start and then literally I've been down there an hour and 20 minutes and obviously you'll see <laughs> you'll see in the future vlog but I got so much done so much progress I'm so pleased anyway I was getting a bit cold down there because it's not an area we use all the time so obviously we don't want to heat areas that we're not using and um obviously we will we will when we've got guests staying down there so obviously i made sure i wore a jumper and i wore jeans you know i didn't wear like pajama bottoms or anything but i still after a little while my nose was getting cold <laughs> so i decided to, to come up and um oh while i was down there it must have come when i was out and Liam just forgot to tell me my witch casket box has arrived so that's something fun we can look at later um i was hoping it was going to come today i did think it might um so i'm gonna have a little break i need to finalize my video for today same same as always <laughs> and i've also got some leftovers from the other night uh the noki the gnocchi chunky soup that I made the other night because obviously if you were watching yesterday's we had a carvery we went out out the house <laughs> for a carvery yesterday so we didn't we didn't obviously didn't finish this and because it was because I cooked it in the slow cooker we've got one of those where you can lift the thing the you can lift the bowl <laughs> out of it uh, so obviously once it had cooled down the other day, I just lifted it out and put it in the fridge with the lid on. So I was able to just pop it back in because there's no meat or anything in it. Anyway, so I was able to just pop it back in earlier on today, heat it up and jobs are good for dinner. So I'm going to eat that, maybe watch a YouTube video, finalise my video and get that sorted to go out. Then we'll have a look at the witch casket. Um box because the december one this is my first december one is supposed to be a very sought after one so i'm excited to see what's inside but yeah we'll do that later on i did want to film a video today but that means putting makeup and stuff on so that might have to be a <laughs> oh we'll have time to do it tomorrow hmm we'll see <laughs> Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, skin texture for the win. Need to try that cleanser later. <laughs> in a bit, in fact. Oh, that's a bit too much, I think. There we go. Hmm. Looking delicious. Oh, there were many game sounds going on, so I've shut the door. Love how it instantly looked better with my hair down, so that's something to remember. 
right, let's get this package open. Let's read it the thumbnail. <laughs> it's too bloody bright though, still. You're the star. You're the star. <laughs> Hopefully there's something in that. Ooh. Ooh, we'll do the first look, shall we? You can't see it. Mm -hmm. Whoa, it's bright. It says, <coughs> Excuse me. I hope I can put it here so it's kind of still in shot. How cute. Um, it's, I'm going to have to bring it back here, I think. There's Lunar Magic and this is the booklet that always tells you everything and has the little letter from Deb and Ella. Loving the artwork for this box. Obviously, spoiler alert if you are if you happen to be currently awaiting a witch casket box. This month, due to high demand, we honour the magical moon. Oh, I love the moon. The, the moon's my favourite. I love the moon. I point it out, like, if we can see it in the garden, I, I point it out to Liam. <laughs> the moon! 2024 caskets are already on the drawing board and they're all we can think about right now. We are working really hard to make 2024 extra enchanting. You all. Well, I can't wait. Okay, here's the little card. And you always get, I always forget that I have these though, so I, I feel like I should put these in a little... Um, a little box or something if I want to do them but it always has a monthly manifestations at the back so I'll give you a, another little peek now you can see some stuff Ooh. <coughs> excuse me oh this looks to be a tote bag oh I love a tote bag Tote bag with the moon phases on. Lovely. Manifestation charm bag kit. Ooh, a little scroll in it. So you always get any ingredients or things that you need. And get a little pouch. So it looks to be You put the ingredients in, <clears throat> you write down your manifestation on the scroll and then you put it all together in your little pouch and obviously you can reuse the pouches. Also the little card has <clears throat> some artwork on the back. Can you see the little witches flying by the moon? Love that. Well, this looks like a little hanging thing. The moon and a hand. It's like an engraved. I'll go through the booklet at the end. I just don't want to be spoiled. Magical moon water bottles, and their bottles are some of my favourite items. I think I even bought one or two from the store. I I had to go and sort my card it was saying it was full it was my own fault for not formatting it <laughs> and then we took the dogs out so it's a little a little bit later but we'll continue where we left off and that was with the magical moon water bottle so looking forward to this oh it's so cute i don't know if you'll be able to see the design on it I'm trying to put it on something. If I rotate it, you might be able to see that there's an embossed moon and stars on it. And it's got a little stopper. <laughs> Lovely. I love those. Ooh. Oh, I, haven't, I don't think I've had one of these yet. This is a pendulum, a rainbow moonstone pendulum. I think that might be right. Lovely. Let's see if I can get it up close. Maybe use this. 
Lovely. Hold the pendulum by the chain and allow it to settle. Ask a yes no question that you already know the answer to and see which way the pendulum swings. That allows you to ascertain the direction of your pen pendulum for yes or no. Then you can ask questions where the answer is unknown and see what insight the pendulum offers. Lovely, that is a beautiful stone. And obviously you can keep the little pouches as well. You always get a pin and unsurprisingly, this month's one has a moon on it with a sleeping cat. So that will go on my pennant banner where I've been putting them all. Oh, we've got more incense. I love it when they put incense in. Incense is another one of my favourite things that they've done. An enchanting blend of rose and myrrh. Moon magic incense. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. Obviously, I only ever burn this stuff in, in my room, really. Obviously, because I've got the dogs. Crescent moon crystal tray. Oh, this is gorgeous. It's wood and it's carved inside. Wow, that is stunning. Oh, their items are just always so beautiful. And then last but no means least, there's always a scroll. Oh, there we go. What is it? Oh, it's moon phases. It's a moon phase scroll. So, because so, some of them have um, like little spells and things like that on, um, and so, but some of them make would make really good prints, and this is definitely one of them. So it's just got all the the moon phases on it. So I might actually frame that one. I, at the moment, I've got all the little scrolls in a little jar because I just love how they look. It's very, very witchy and dark, dark academic. <laughs> so yeah, lovely. That was lovely. I might just leave the all these boxes out. Put them in the recycling. I'm trying to think of what my favourite item is, but that was a good box. I mean, the bottles are always going to be my favourite. Oh, I was going to go through the thing. I'll do that. I'll do that. And see what they see what see what they're saying about all the stuff. Yeah. So, magical moon water bottle. Harness lunar energy and add it to your magic. Use this enchanting bottle to create or store magical moon water. Then from our drawing board to your altar. <laughs> so if you're a crystal person, whether by you just like the look of them or they have a deeper meaning to you, this is a cute tray to, cute tray to display them on. And if you do, if you do charging, you can put this on your windowsill. Um, magical moon wooden wall plaque. Display your love for moon magic. <laughs> I do have a big wall behind where I work. So you will have just seen a white wall if I've been vlogging there. Um, and that's what my webcam has the view of so i do i do want to paint that wall and put like artwork and stuff on it so some of these some of these things will, will probably look really nice on there moon phases tote bag yep very good i i love something that's got utility and function rainbow moonstone pendulum beautiful yet simple dinner bit divination tool if that's your thing i've never i've never tried a pen pendulum 
Moon Magic Incense. Yeah, just the incense is just amazing. The charm bag kit, the enamel pin, the scroll, and the little art print, which was absolutely gorgeous. With the little witch with the little lantern. Oh, so cute. That will probably make its way onto a wall somewhere. That was a lovely box. Really, really nice. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm so glad that came today. Because <laughs> um, obviously stuff like this takes takes a little bit of the pressure off with the vlogging, especially when it's a day where you're just getting stuff done. <laughs> so uh, let me know if you are a fellow Witch, witch Casket subscriber and what you thought of the box or even if you're not a subscriber what you thought of the box i'm not affiliated or anything i'm, a, I'm just a paying subscriber showing you my subscription oh <laughs> i'm running out of battery again i just thought i would come on to end the vlog and the whole the whole family's coming to join me <laughs> oh that wasn't liam peeing that was I'm putting water in the dog bowl. <laughs> um, so update on the the cleanser that I showed you earlier. I've just used it, and so far so good. Obviously, there won't really be any results after one go, but it's like a gel cleanser, so it was quite um, viscous. Is that the word? <laughs> um, but like as your massaging it in it goes into like a thick opaque lather and um it was nice nice experience so i'll try and remember to update you on the impact it's having on my skin and also i've pretty much edited this vlog <laughs> apart from this clip which is great so hopefully i can get to manchester tomorrow which is the plan um, the hooded fellow. <laughs> you matching? You matching? <laughs> I've just washed that for him and put it through the dryer. So he's loving life in that. So I'm going to stick an episode of Sherlock on because Sherlock is my comfort watch. It's like my bedtime story, and I'll see you tomorrow for. <laughs> <laughs> Waving goodbye. <laughs> we say bye. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, that's Liam's old, old bear. Yeah, he's only got one eye. <laughs> anyway, I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Hopefully, in Manchester. <laughs> Are we doing a full round of the? <laughs> of the cuddlies yeah so I'll see you tomorrow hopefully in Manchester you wanted to be in this I feel like you're leaning over no I'm just watching um, hopefully in Manchester so give this video a like if you enjoyed it um, let me know if you've tried the the Inky List product that I bought today subscribe if you dare <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow bye you gonna do it? <laughs>